<laughs> hey guys, how are you doing? Mac and cheese is such an awesome American thing. We don't really have it here much in England, but I do really like it. And so today I'm going to be trying American food. Oh my god, never done this before. Except I'm taking it to a whole new level, as you have already seen in the title. That is mac and cheese waffles. Say what? Oh my god, that sounds awesome. That is so cool. I'm going to give this video a thumbs up right now. Oh my god, thumbs up. Yes, that's right. Let me break it down for you. We got the mac, we got the cheese, and we've got the waffle maker that's a bit heavier than those two. Waffle. I saw this on the internet, I was like, I have to make this. It looks so awesome. Mac and cheese is cool and all, but shoving it in a waffle iron just sounds like it's gonna make it 10 times better. Now you can use mac and cheese from a tin, but it always seems kind of gross from a tin. So I'm gonna be making it from scratch, which I think is gonna be so much better as well. And I've never made mac and cheese before, but it looks fairly simple to do, so I'm pretty sure you guys can do it at home as well if you follow my simple instructions. Here we go. Whoa. I don't think you've ever been back here before, have you? But I kind of like it. Alright, so first up, I need to make my saucy sauce for the mac and cheese. To do that, I'm going to take four tablespoons of butter. One. It's quite tricky. Two. Got to be a better way of doing this. Four. And as that's melting down, I can add in four tablespoons of flour as well. Just regular plain flour. Just sprinkle that in over the butter and give it a good mix. Oh, it smells good. Can't believe I've never made mac and cheese before. I can't call myself an American fanboy if I haven't made mac and cheese, but I can now after this video. But we want to keep mixing that and cook it off for a few minutes. Meanwhile, we can take an egg and beat it up in a little cup. Don't forget to mix your thing. Look at me, I'm multitasking. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Mix, mix, mix. Now to that, you can add in an unspecified amount of milk or you can measure out two and a half cups if you have one of those measuring things, which I don't. But uh, fortunately, I am a cooking expert, so I will get it right first time. <gasps> oh, too much. Just kidding. I bet this is gonna go horribly wrong now, isn't it? More, we need more. Should have just bought it from a tin, shouldn't I? You can also add a bit of mustard at this point if you fancy, which I do, so I will. Either the dry stuff or the liquidy stuff. Pretty sure both will work the same. You can see that it's getting nice and thick now, which is exactly what we want, so that it all sticks to the macaroni and makes it gloopy and good. I don't know. Thick is good. Kind of looks like custard, which makes me want to just eat the whole lot, but it's not, is it? No. Now for the tricky bit, we need to pour some of the sauce, about a fifth of it, into the beaten egg whilst whisking it so that it doesn't cook the egg. And then I'm going to put it back into here afterwards. Better get it right. It will taste good later. And now we're going back the other way. Eggy sauce into non-eggy sauce. Technical term there, eggy sauce. Now we've got to keep whisking this so that it doesn't cook the egg too much, but enough so that it's just right. Now here is where it is all transformed with the grated cheese. I'm gonna add in a good dollop, sprinkle, whoosh. A good whoosh of grated cheese. Along with a sprinkle of salt, you want quite a bit of salt in there to bring out all the flavours of the cheese and stuff. Eggy sauce. And some black pepper as well. And you can even add some other spices and stuff if you fancy. I'm going to put it in a bit of paprika. But that'll do. Don't want to go crazy. Now we just got to wait for that cheese to melt and for it to all amalgamate together. Sexy word there, amalgamate. Oh hey, you're back there again. We are not far off from the waffling, but one last thing left to do. I need to take some macaroni, which I've already cooked and drained, and it's gone all hard because I left it there too long. Put that into the sauce, and then give that a good mix. Now it's time to look like mac and cheese. Oh yeah. Right, no need to get sexual done. Why have I not made mac and cheese before? This looks so incredible, oh my god. I'm a genius. And now I'm just gonna put this into a baking tray which I've already greased and then throw it in the fridge for around half an hour until it's completely set and cooled and ready to get waffling. Just like that, and into the fridge. Bye mac and cheese, I will see you soon. And here it is, fresh out of the fridge. It is nice and cold and set and firm and solid and ready to go. And this is where the magic happens. Okay, so first thing you need to do is cut up this slab of mac and cheese into some manageable squares. Onto that, I'm going to sprinkle a bit more grated cheese 
because we like it super duper cheesy and we want it all oozing out the middle once it goes into the waffle iron. And now for the secret ingredient. Are you ready or do you promise that you will tell no one syrup? Not too much, but trust me, this is gonna add a little bit of extra awesomeness to this mac and cheese waffle meltdown. And then finally, I'm gonna finish that off with the other square slab of mac and cheese right on top. And there it is, a mac and cheese sandwich. Now it is ready to waffle iron, and it is going in. I should probably warn you, you're never gonna be able to eat mac and cheese in the regular way ever again after this. So, sorry about that. Holy mac and cheese balls, that looks good. Here it is, oh my goodness, I cannot wait to try this. Bearing in mind I have not had proper mac and cheese, I don't think ever. Like I've only ever had it from a tin, so I'm ready for my mind to be blown. Here we go. Mmm. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely insane. It's like the gorgeous mac and cheese that you know, but with a crunchy outside and that sweet hint of maple syrup in the middle. Don't beep at me. Shh. It is so good. Definitely changes the way that I think about mac and cheese. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the recipe. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe if you're not yet a regular viewer. Dogling of the week this week goes to YouTubers fan for life. Awesome edits over on Instagram. You did quite a few of me. Thank you so much for that. I really like them. If you want to win Dougie of the Week, follow me on Twitter at Doug Armstrong or on Instagram at Doug A underscore and do something mac and cheesy. But otherwise, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye. Shh, beep. No beep.